Things that annoy YouTubers. I'm going to go ahead and give a trigger warning right now. Some people are not going to like the content of this video. Uh, if you're super sensitive, you may not want to watch this video. But I do want to point this out though. If anything in this video seriously offends you, that really says a lot more about how you carry yourself on YouTube than it says about me or the content of this video. Because if you get upset, there's probably a reason behind that. And I'll say this up front, usually I'm very positive on my channel, but I do feel like there are some things that need to be addressed because as I grow my channel and as uh, my friends that are YouTubers grow their channels, I think there are certain things that we just would like to deal with less. There's always gonna be problems with YouTube, but there are definitely some things we could deal with less so let's go ahead and get into this now when I first decided to do this video I shared the idea with several people and uh, I know that a lot of people just want me to bash trolls all the way through this video I'm not going to do that though because really trolls don't deserve that much attention also when it comes down to it trolls are pretty much sheep they're just people that are not original they're not unique so they're just following along with the herd saying the same thing that Hundreds of thousands of other people, you know, millions of other people will say um, whether they're being racist, homophobic, sexist, whatever it is, they're just saying the same things that we've heard again and again and again. There's no original thought there. So again, they really don't deserve that much attention. Also, trolls are pretty easy to get rid of. You can block them very easily and then you just don't have to deal with them anymore or at least those particular people. Now, of course, more trolls will come along, but just keep blocking them consistently and just keep moving forward. That's really all you have to do. Now, some people will say, of course, trolls will point out, oh, I can still thumbs down your videos. For one thing, that's pathetic that you would stick with the channel just so you could give it thumbs downs, but also, I want my fellow YouTubers to realize that a thumbs down really is equal weight to a thumbs up. Either way, your video is getting a reaction and it's more likely to pop up as a recommendation. So really, when it comes down to it, haters can't win. Keep that in mind. Haters can't win when it comes to this game, so do not stress over that. By the way, my fellow YouTubers, have you ever noticed that when it comes to hateful comments, you usually get them during the day, like early in the day, maybe in the afternoon, not so much late at night though. Hmm, you really wonder why that is, don't you? Well, the obvious reason is because a lot of these internet gangsters are actually teenagers and kids that are basically just showing out online, enjoying that anonymity. And, uh... It's unfortunate that there are a lot of young people that way that are basically online bullies, but I really want especially adult YouTubers to realize that because it is mainly young people, there is no reason to stress over that. And even when it is older people, trust me, there is a legitimate reason behind it. Well, legitimate to an extent. It is because they are jealous of you. They are jealous of your creativity, your motivation to actually do something positive, and also your success. Even if you have a channel that you have just started, you're already successful because you had the courage to step up and put yourself out there in the public light. That's not an easy thing to do. A lot of people are too afraid to do that. So already you have some success in that way. And there are some people that will try to tear you down before you even really build yourself up. So realize that a lot of this hate, a lot of this trolling, it comes from just pathetic people that are desperate for attention or desperate to bring you down because they really don't have much going on themselves. So again, don't give them too much attention. But I will say this though, if you choose to address tr uh, trolls, you're absolutely within your right because what trolls like to do also is they will talk trash about you, but then when you respond to it, they say, oh, you just can't take it, you're too sensitive. That's them trying to have their cake and eat it too. They're still trying to control you. If you decide to address trolls, you're completely within your right. At the same time, do not let them bog down your channel. Don't, don't let them take you away from your main focus of what you do on your channel. Do try to keep it positive, keep moving forward, and like I said, block them and move on and don't stress over the thumbs down because that's pathetic anyway and if they're always thumbs giving your video a thumbs down right away that means that they are probably subscribed with notifications on so even though they don't really want to they're still supporting you next up here another thing that annoys youtubers people who complain about youtubers making money 
Now, these people that complain about YouTubers making money are the same people that will very quickly not only support, but also defend companies. And these are the same people that don't seem to have an issue with at athletes or musicians or actors or comedians or wrestlers making money. Well, what is the difference with a YouTuber? Either way, YouTubers provide entertainment. And for people claiming that they don't provide entertainment, then why are you watching it? Okay, YouTube is a... A platform that's really mainly about entertainment there is some educational things there are some news too but again you're getting value out of that even if you are a troll that's still entertainment for you so there's no good reason why anybody should say that youtubers don't deserve money it's also a very needless complaint because People that complain about YouTubers making money, these are the same people that will skip every ad that they can. They may even use ad blocker. They would never contribute to a Patreon or anything like that. So what are they really complaining about? Again, I think they are jealous because they see YouTubers doing something that's positive, something that actually takes, it does take some work, you know, but they're still having fun with it. And of course, people get jealous about that, especially when they don't have creativity or motivation themselves. And something that I hear some people uh, scream out to YouTubers is, get a job. Well, that shows that a lot of people really don't understand how YouTube works and that a very small fraction of people actually make a living off of YouTube. It is not easy to make a living off of YouTube. For most people, it is something that is a hobby that they happen to make money off of. Even for YouTubers that have millions of subscribers, a lot of them still rely on other ways to supplement their income. And that might be uh, with endorsement deals or sponsors, you know, whatever it is. And some of them actually still have a full time job that people just don't even realize. So, again, people screaming out, get a job. Like I said, they really don't have a good sense of how YouTube works. Next thing here, people who complain about when you post. Now, this is really another needless complaint because for one thing, I mean, once something is posted on YouTube, it is there until that person that posted it decides to get rid of it. Or if there's some sort of guidelines issue, then YouTube gets rid of it. So you do not have to watch a video right away when it's posted. So there's no reason to complain. Also, this is something I've had happen sometimes, and I'm sure some other YouTubers have experienced this as well. Let's say I post a video and it ends up going up at 3 a.m., and um, I say that I know this video is up really late, you know, and I, I actually point that out in the video. I say, yeah, this is probably going up in the middle of the night. And then somebody responds, well, yeah, it's only uh, it's only midnight here. Well, I'm like, yeah, of course, because you're on the other side of the country. It is amazing how many people don't understand the concepts of time zones. <laughs> you know, it's really a, kind of a sad thing when you think about it. But yes, time zones do exist. And I think some people need to keep that in mind. And like I said, they don't have to watch videos right away. So again, this is a needless complaint. Now, next up here, the word first really does bug some YouTubers. Um, and remember, this is about things that annoy YouTubers, not really things that make YouTubers angry, because I think most people develop a tough skin on YouTube, either that or they leave. But um, the word first really does not annoy me when somebody decides to say they're first to post on a video because... In, in my mind, especially if it's somebody that does that consistently, that means that they are subscribed and that they have their notifications on. So basically, they are part of my notification squad, which is a positive thing. I'm okay with that. Now, what does annoy me, and I think it annoys some other YouTubers, was when you have people that start to argue over who was first. That is ridiculous. It's really unnecessary, especially when it's obviously an adult that is arguing with a child about putting the comment first. It really doesn't have to go to that level. That That's absurd. But yeah, for my fellow YouTubers, I hope that you don't be too annoyed by the word first because at least that is somebody that is trying to support your channel. Hopefully they actually are watching the videos, you know, but um, yeah, when it comes to people arguing about it, that is just so childish regardless of age. It's really not necessary. Um, actually, we know there are some people that love to try to prove that they're smarter than YouTubers. And it's really because these people tend to feel very inferior. And that's the only way they can try to feel superior, even if it's just for a brief moment. Now, I do want to say that it is helpful sometimes for people to share facts with you, additional information. That's all good. But when you have somebody that is con every basically every time that they comment on your videos, they're trying to prove that they're smarter than you. That might as well be trolling. It is pretty annoying. And I, I won't lie, if somebody blocks somebody that's like that, I really would not blame you at all. Because, again, it's just really unnecessary to try to prove that you're smarter than a YouTuber. It's not really necessary at all. Again, if you're just providing information that's honestly trying to help out, 
that's all good but we know the difference though something else here and this kind of fits in with the last thing that I covered um, I wish more people would realize that you know youtubers we're not perfect we make mistakes everybody makes mistakes and when a youtuber makes a mistake I think it's okay for a person to respectfully correct them but at the same time a youtuber doesn't need to be corrected about the same thing a dozen times you know um, especially if a video has been up for a while or it has a good number of views I think people need to realize more than likely somebody has already corrected that individual they don't need to hear it again and again and again because being corrected one time is helpful being corrected 20 times about the same thing is irritating so yeah I really wish people would realize that and something I try to do on my channel is when somebody corrects me if I feel like uh, you know I, I did make a mistake and they correct me then I try to make that the top comment so hopefully people will see it but some people are so amped up and so ready to jump on a mistake and point it out that they don't even pay attention to the other comments but I really wish they would please for shout outs I really don't even understand why people stress over shout outs so much. I can understand maybe if you are a YouTuber and you want some attention for your channel, but I don't think it's really necessary to ask for a shout out. I'm okay with somebody asking me to check out their channel and then if I like it, I may choose to give them a shout out, but I honestly don't even know how much that matters. It's not like I feel like shout outs do a whole lot for channels. It can help a little bit. But I really think when it comes to YouTube, you got to grind and do it for your yourself, basically. So all these shout outs that people keep asking for, it's like, for what? For what reason? Especially when somebody doesn't even have a channel and they're asking for a shout out. It's like, why? Like, why, why are you so desperate to hear your name on YouTube? Remember, it's open to everybody. If you want to hear your name on YouTube, make a video and say your name. There, there you go. Now, something else I think that... Um, maybe bother some youtubers but then again I, I like i said i really don't think people stress over these things maybe too much but when other people try to advertise on a youtuber's channel i think that's kind of disrespectful um you know it's just and also it's a very lazy way to try to promote your channel you really got to grind when it comes to youtube and put in the work and build your channel up you can't really do it that way i think it's a very like i said a very lazy way to try to promote your channel also youtube tends to catch that and they tend to market as spam so it tends to be a waste of time anyway a lot of those comments they go to spam and then youtubers delete them but even when they slide through i just don't think that's the best way to promote your channel it's really not a good look when it comes down to it and you know there are other ways to promote yourself much more effective ways to promote yourself next thing here and I know this might kind of rub some people the wrong way but this is a video where I'm trying to be as honest as possible and not just speak for myself but also speak for my fellow youtubers that I've had conversations with so phony supporters is something else that really can annoy youtubers and what I mean by that there are really uh, different aspects to this for one thing you basically viewers that never take that one or two seconds it takes to like a video that is kind of ridiculous it's the easiest way to support a channel and yet there are some people that never like videos even when the videos are helpful to them I really think that's not cool and it seems like a, a very small percentage of people actually take that time that one or two seconds to like videos it's really a shame even though some people claim they're supporting a channel but they don't do the easiest thing there is to support a channel also when people comment something generic like good video even though it's obvious they have not watched the video that kind of baffles me I don't know why people even bother to do that because I hope uh, uh, viewers understand that a youtuber they know when their video went up they get notifications when they get comments they can see if they have put up a 10 minute video and you commented after the video has been up for like 30 seconds that there's really no point to that I don't understand why people pretend to be supportive just either watch the video or if you don't have the time for it then don't you know it's really no big deal and along with that I'm just gonna say quickly here uh, for people that act like they don't have the time to watch the videos the videos are too long you don't have to watch them you can watch other channels that have shorter content so complaining about that doesn't make much sense either also people that only respond they only comment when there's a giveaway going on that's definitely not a good look 
it doesn't sound right when somebody says hey yo I've been uh, supporting you for months I really enjoy your content but they're only saying that on videos that relate to a giveaway now if somebody is new to a channel and they came to the channel because of a giveaway I understand that because giveaways are promotional they do bring in new subscribers but for people that claim that they've been around for a long time but they only comment for a giveaway that's not a good look at all also when people like repeatedly ask you questions about things that you've already addressed in your videos again that shows that they're not watching so they're not really being supportive and it's like either you want to know the information or you don't again if you don't have the time to watch just don't watch but then also realize you're choosing not to be informed so again that's something that I think really really does annoy youtubers when it's so obvious that somebody is not watching the video that you put all that effort into and then also something that happens even though I don't think it's like a huge issue but I've seen it happen before where somebody will and comment on a, a youtubers videos and make it seem like they really appreciate what they do and everything is all good but then you come across them somewhere else on social media maybe another youtube video or maybe on instagram or facebook somewhere else and they're basically talking trash about that same youtuber that's called being two-faced really not cool at all so yeah phony supporters they really are not very helpful at all and it's just kind of baffling for the most part why some people even pretend to be supportive but of course we know some people will do that for giveaways Next up here, obsessive subscribers. Again, I hope that this is not a big issue, but there are some viewers sometimes that will kind of uh, overstep boundaries or they try way too hard to become somebody's friend. I think friendships, yeah, even with YouTube, is something that has to develop naturally. You cannot force it. And for people that will... Uh, basically try to find out where a youtuber lives and they're trying to find out all this these personal details it's just like why you know but just back up a little bit you know and uh take the time to get to know somebody and really youtubers you know they choose what information they want to share in their videos so if somebody's not covering something then they might not be comfortable with that you know so yeah there there's some people like i said that really cross boundaries and don't really respect boundaries and yeah, like I said, I hope that's not a major issue, but I do see it as something that happens sometimes. And I got to say here quickly also, um, there are some people I've built a rapport with, so if they want to hit me up, I'm cool with that. But if I have not built a rapport with you and you're not a fine woman, you should not be hitting me up in the middle of the night asking me personal questions. And then next here, advice that isn't thoughtful or helpful. And again, I'm going back to the sheep because I really think it is the sheep that try to provide this advice that is very generic and advice that's really not helpful. And it doesn't make sense for me to people say, when people say something like, oh, I really love your content, but could you change it and do it like this other person does it? They're basically asking you to follow the herd to, you know, just to be like someone else. And that's not good advice at all, in my opinion. And I really wish people would realize if they like something else so much, they can go watch that instead of trying to change you to be someone else. That does not make sense to me. Good advice for relationships as well, by the way. Next up, copycats. And I'm not going to really say much about this because... Okay, to be fair, I will say there are certain genres of videos on YouTube. We know that there's uh, reaction channels, there's vlogging, there's video game channels, you know, all these different things that people can fit into. But when I say copycats, we know it's not cool when somebody, they, they basically try to steal somebody's format beat for beat, or they try to steal somebody's editing style beat for beat, or they even try to mimic somebody's personality instead of being themselves that's really not cool and you know especially if they're following somebody's channel and then they turn around on their own channel and they try to do exactly what that person did you know sometimes it could be a homage you know paying homage to somebody but then there are other times when we know that it is basically just copycatting and not being original and maybe even trying to poach subscribers from somebody you know that's again really not cool Next one here, and I'm really not going to spend much time with this because I think this has been addressed enough lately on YouTube, but it can be annoying when there are successful YouTubers, and I'm talking about YouTubers with millions and millions of subscribers that do embarrass the platform because then it gets very tough for some people to say that, yes, I am a YouTuber. It almost starts to have a negative connotation. So I really do hope moving forward that more of these large YouTubers are really more thoughtful about what they do. And also, when they make a mistake whether it's intentional well I should say this whether it comes from a place that's true to them or not I really wish that they would not play dumb 
You know, I, I really don't like that. You know, if you've made a mistake, own up to it instead of playing dumb because that doesn't make YouTubers look good either. And the next thing here, if I was doing this as a numbered list, I think this would be number one. Demonetization is a big issue on YouTube. Uh, my fellow YouTubers, I think you can attest to this. And a lot of people have videos that get demonetized for no good reason. You're well within the guidelines. You know, some people have even cleaned up their language and everything for the sake of monetization. And yet they still get demonetized for no good reason. It's definitely something annoying that I think YouTube needs to work out. And it would really be helpful if YouTube had some major competition which hopefully is on the way because i think that would improve youtube's platform they maybe would uh give a little more appreciation to their um content creators so we'll see what happens with this moving forward and then i think that i definitely need to address this within this video because i know there are some people that are ready to comment before they've even watched this video and some people that may have even thumbs down the video before they even watch this video but when people complain about somebody complaining that doesn't quite make sense. And also, when people actually go to a critic's channel, let's say it's a movie channel like uh, like Jeremy Johns, you know, they go to his channel, they complain about him critiquing a movie. That's what he does. And, you know, somebody complaining about somebody complaining, that's not helping anything at all. It doesn't quite make sense. The only reason these people get mad is because they can't handle somebody having a difference of opinion, which is really pathetic when you think about it. We should be able to listen to people with different opinions. And um, everybody forms an opinion when you watch something or you listen to something unless you're absolutely brain dead. So there's no reason to complain about that. You know, if you can't handle listening to people complain about things, then don't watch those types of videos. But we know that there are some people do that will watch those videos and complain just because they want to start drama because they don't have anything else going on. So that is going to do it for this video. Um, normally on my channel, I try to be very positive. But like I said, I really think that I had to address these things. And I think my fellow YouTubers can attest to a lot of what I have said. Because this wasn't just about me. These are things that I, I know that other YouTubers deal with as well. And um, I really hope that viewers will uh, you know, put some thought into the things that I've said. And I'm not trying to attack all viewers i definitely appreciate all the support i have on my channel and i think that like 90 percent of the support i have i mean 90 percent of the people that have come to my channel have been very positive you know it's just that small percentage of people that complain 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 for no good reason and um yeah they basically just need to go you know and i, I block a lot of people on my channel may have to block some people after uh this video but that's all good you know but um yeah i just didn't want to bite my tongue completely but i'm going to try to keep things as positive as possible on my channel i've said a lot here i really don't want to stress over it you know i just want to go ahead and move forward but i hope um that those of you that stuck with this all the way through that you understand where i was coming from hope you uh enjoyed the video and i will talk to you all again real soon or at least i'll talk to those of you that stick with me.